When we have disc bulge and or disc herniation that is actually is pinching enough on whether it's the spinal cord or it is pinching on the nerve roots as they are exiting the spinal cord and kind of leaving the spine, we have to consider that we, surgery has to be a consideration in the mix. That does not mean it has to be surgery. It just means that it is uh, important not to immediately disregard surgery just because Ooh, it's big, bad, scary surgery. Because sometimes the disc bulge and disc herniation, if it is long, if it's been going on long enough or it is severe enough, then we we might run into situations where if it's not properly addressed surgically, it might actually cause long-term complications. Uh, and it gets a little bit more intense for those long-term complications if it is in the neck region, because we have our spinal cord in the neck. Whereas in the low back, you know, at the L4 region, we don't actually have a spinal cord there anymore. The spinal cord ends around L1 in most people. And so the, uh, while there can still be long-term complications of not having that properly addressed, it's not as severe as the potential complications for compression on the spinal cord. And so again, I haven't evaluated you. I haven't looked at any of your imaging. And so I, uh, it's, it's very difficult for me to guide that direction. There is uh, generally a line in the sand uh, from my point of view on when I think, when it's for me, when I feel comfortable telling somebody, hey, I really think that you should go see a surgeon uh, to have this uh, evaluated versus, hey, I think you know we can comfortably move forward with our regenerative injection options to see if we can make some headway, make some changes with the understanding that uh, we still might not be able to and ultimately down the road, surgery still might be the best option. Because again, we can't predict, you know, just because we do a regenerative therapy doesn't mean it's 100% going to work. Just like even if you have surgery, it doesn't mean it's 100% uh, going to work because, you know, nothing in medicine is 100%.